So now that we have the tiki tiki of the World Cup out of the way, let's give a little rundown of the standings. What do you say? Okay, sure. There's a bunch of groups. So like I said, I, I got a little uh, education from Tony Austin. And there's a bunch of groups A through H. And we're not going to mention all of them, but we're going to mention the ones that are specific to the Latino countries. Uh, Uruguay, Mexico, they're tied in Group A, so they're doing great. Argentina today, oh no, not today, Paraguay won today, but Argentina in Group B is, is uh, number one. Paraguay won today in Group F. In Group G, Brazil, they Brazil. won today. Brazil uh, won today. And Chile in Group H, they're doing extremely well in their group as well. So they're heading towards the, uh, in basketball, you got the Sweet 16. Yeah. Well, they're going towards the, the final, like the, the group of 16. Right. Well, felicidades a todos. We'll be watching, of course, and last Sunday we'll be covering it as well. Yeah, now finally I'm starting to watch. Look, we got we got to get into soccer sooner or later, and I think this World Cup finally is turning a lot of football, baseball, basketball fans in the U.S., kind of turning them in that direction. I think it's a good idea. It's huge everywhere, but, you know, here. We're a little, <laughs> in, in Spanish, retrasado. We're a little, a little far behind. But we're working on that, and last Sunday sure. is going to be covering, so... You know, check out that as well. Okay, you have any sportscasters, or are you going to turn into a sportscaster? I'm going to do everything. Well, because you realize now, <laughs> look, look at basketball, baseball, look at all the sports except hockey. All the correspondents are females now. Wow. I can't handle it. Some of them have a decent voice, but come on. All right, oh, so, wait a minute, wait a minute. What are you trying to say there? Uh, no, no, I'm very serious about that. Voice has a lot to do with it, because when I'm hearing standings and numbers and about this guy and about that guy... Sometimes I want to hear a male authoritative voice telling me. <gasps> I, I don't want the, <laughs> no, the whiny that. voice. Oh, my not goodness. All I can't women. believe you're saying this. I'm being honest. <laughs> not all women, but a lot of the women have that whiny voice. Please, come on, man. Don't, don't just put women just to put women. Because you gotta, you gotta, wow. you gotta get a quota of women announcers, please. Wow. Well, maybe we should get women announcers who have more bass to their voice, and you'd be happier. <laughs> Not necessarily. <laughs> As the years go by, they're even, they're getting even more and more accustomed to announcing the sport that they're doing. So they're sounding better and better. Oh I gotta admit, goodness. there are a few that I like, most that I don't. <laughs> <laughs> we'll move on to something Woo! else, obviously. Let's because we touched a nerve here. Okay, let's go. <laughs> so let's talk about Hollywood, of course. It's always exciting okay. to talk about Hollywood. Penelope Cruz is going to receive a Hollywood star next year in 2011. She'll be joining her contemporaries like Cameron Diaz, Emilio Estefan, Shakira, who's half Colombiana, half Lebanese, I believe it one is. One of my favorite hunks, Antonio Banderas. Oh, yeah. And another one, Ricky Martin. Oh, yeah. They're all, they all already have They it, right? already have stars. So okay. she's joining Felicidades at Penelope. Right. Well, good company, Penelope. I, and I think congratulations. She it, yeah. Oh, she absolutely she, deserves she's it. She's a great talent. Not just a great looking woman, but yes, I like to watch her in movies. Of course, he has. Very to put believable. That in. Of course, I had to throw that in. <laughs> she is. She's a beautiful woman. <laughs> yes. Along with Salma. Does she have Salma her? Hayek? Yeah. I don't think so. I would love to give Salma a Hollywood star. I think uh, she deserves that too. I would like to give Salma if a few Antonio things. If Antonio has one, you know, remember uh, what were they in together? Desperado. I love that movie. A fantastic movie. Yeah, that was kind of dark, man. It was great. A lot of shooting, a lot of bleeding, <laughs> and still he stood up. That He's was a excellent. hunk of hunk of man, I tell you. <laughs> A hunk of hunger burning love. So tell me, I checked yeah. out JIStar.com recently, and you have a lot of cool stuff up there, including our new top 10, which looks absolutely beautiful. Oh, I got to congratulate you guys. Behind the scenes, more Mr. Uh, Tony Anthony he Austin. Was brilliant. Brilliant. He got together, <laughs> he got the videos. We, were, we normally provided snippets of the song, and we put a photo of the artist. Well, guess what? Now it's truly top notch. Still snippets, but snippets of the video. And if you want to be in tune with the top 10 tropical music that we we get from our listeners and viewers, lamega.com and enlaescena.com, then check out the new top 10. It's enlaescena.com and jistar.com and lamega.com. Three places you can check it out. So there's no excuses. None whatsoever. <laughs> Well, that's all for now. Unless you have anything else, Jay, do you? Wait a minute. I think Tony uh, has something for us. 75th anniversary. Oh, we forgot to mention about Jay Lovenmark <coughs> being honored at the 75th anniversary at the Apollo Theater. They had their 75th anniversary. It was right around the time of Michael Jackson's uh, anniversary. Right. And they were honored for their humanitarian efforts. Humanitarian efforts? Humanitarian. Overall? Overall. Can you name a few of them? Wow. No, I can't. You see? <laughs> you didn't do your homework. Tony, do you Somebody remember? Somebody who I am, huh? Well, look, I'll they be honest, were, I don't remember the exact... They were honored as um, the humanitarian couple. The humanitarian couple. couple. Right. 
Um, remember Mark Anthony got an award in Puerto Rico? Yes, he his... did. At the Latin Billboards, he was he got the Spirit of Hope Award for his humanitarian efforts as well. So okay. I don't know exactly what their projects are, but they've been out there doing a lot of humanitarian efforts, and I think that needs to be recognized. Sure. We're being honest. We're not, you know, pinpointing exactly what those efforts are, but they're there. <laughs> we'll Google them after the show. And we'll get back to you next week. So make sure you tune in Woo! this week and every week on www.inlasana.com. Of course, check out JR and JRStar.com and LaMega.com. Yeah. By the way, you know I'm a big dog lover, and I got my dog on my blog on JRStar.com where you can check her out. Her first swim. <laughs> it was like last month, and I got it on video. I was so like a proud daddy. It's like a new dad. Speaking of dad, happy yeah. Father's Day to all the fathers. Today is Father's Day. Happy Father's happy Day, Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, Tony. To all you dads, and especially uh, even you dads that don't even know you're a dad. <laughs> oh, wow. And my father. I love you, daddy, very much. That's right. Dad, love you lots. Thank you for bringing me into this world. Or as my friend told me in a text recently, thank you, dad, for me. Without his sperm, you wouldn't be here. Oh, my goodness. This guy's crazy. <laughs> Speaking of thank yous, thank you all for joining in. We're going to sign off because I can't control this guy right here. Hey, I'm being calm, man. <laughs> I'm Leticia Reyes. I'm J.I. Star. And you're watching In La Cena. <laughs>